What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to replace a belt tensioner on my 97 Chevrolet Suburban. Uh, <clears throat> this is the part that needs to be replaced. Right there. So it's a uh, $35.99 plus tax at O'Reilly's. Uh, it's compatible with uh, 1996 through 2000 Chevrolet GMC Suburban Yukon Tahoe's 5.7 liter. Uh, but we'll get to it. It is hot. So the belt tensioner is located down here where my finger is. So first, all you need is a 3 8 ratchet and a half half inch uh, socket so the first thing you want to do you want to loosen the belt up there's a little square right here below my finger right here you just insert the ratchet there's really not much room so there's not like much footage can be available but you just insert this right here Lift up, put it down. <laughs> Drop the ratchet, of course, you gotta do that. Yeah, you wanna go all the way down, and you can pop this belt off. Just like that. Take your half inch socket, put it on this nut bolt right here. Loosen that up. All right, now once you get the belt tensioner on, you gotta put the belt back on. Uh, I recommend you taking a picture of the belt if you haven't done this before. Uh, it's usually a diagram under the hood here, but my label's gone, so. But it's alright. Alright, once that's all bolted down, you got... Once you get your belt all run, it goes down the camshaft pulley, up on top of the water pump pulley here, and then the power steering pump above the AC compressor to this pulley, and then the last one you want to do is your alternator pulley right here. So you want to get rid of the half inch tension, just use the ratchet here, stick it in that little square port here. And then again, you want to go all the way down and it'll start lifting that belt up. Slide it over that pulley. Before you let go, make sure the uh, serpentine belt is all lined up on all the pulleys. Everything looks pretty dead centered. And you're good. And slowly release. And just like that, guys, you're done. But literally, it took four or five minutes to do. Uh, mine was squeaking. It was loose. So I didn't want to throw the belt and uh, lose charge my battery and stuff like that. But again, this applies to 96 or 2000 Chevy GMC Suburban Yukon Tahoe's uh, 5.7 liter Vortec engines. Uh, I appreciate if you like my videos. Please hit that red subscribe button. I have a lot more videos coming. Have a great day.